So about 20, 25 years ago, I was living in downtown Detroit when I was in my mid-20s. And you know, I just remember being you know, a history buff and looking out that window and seeing that 18-story building and just being amazed at what that building could be. And just, uh, you know, for a guy that's into history, just always thought like, hey, what went through that building? What did it look like in its heyday? So one of the great things about this project is it not only brings back jobs, it brings back people, and it brings back a community. The story of this building is the story of Detroit. Bill Ford, great-grandson of Henry Ford and executive of Ford Motor Company. You would frequently drive by the building, you keep looking at it and think this is the symbol of Detroit. This is what we're known for, so he's wondering what can he do, how can he make a difference, and decided, you know, I'm going to take over this building and we're going to make this a, a hub for our mobility platform. I've always been interested in how the inner workings of things are. Like even as a kid, I was always taking apart computers, taking apart broken appliances and things like that. And that kind of really relates to the job here at CATI and the job here at Ford in that we have technology that helps us kind of break down the physical parts and, and structures and architecture that we're looking at and turn that into usable 3D data. So here for Ford, we're taking these very um, intricate designs and being able to digitize those for the purpose of reproduction. Back in the 60s, my aunt lived in Florida, so she would come up here to visit us by train. I'd come down here with my mom and we'd wait for her and we'd pick her up to take her back to our house. Yeah, it's, it's a real honor to be a part of this project. Um, coming back and seeing how bad it really got, but it's, you know, as we dig into it, the bones are still there. It's still good bones, and we just gotta get everything back into shape and, and bring it back to this life, bring it back to this luster from the 1913s. So we reached out to CATI to see how they could maybe help us out, restore some of the ceilings and window components. As a partner, we're really appreciative of them coming in to help us out with this project. That's gonna be such a great, honor to, to restore and uh, bring back to life. With the Creoform 3D scanners, what we're able to do is digitize what we see right in front of us today with all of its flaws and everything, take that into software where we can digitally repair it, which makes the process a lot more precise and a lot faster, and we can then use those digitized files during the restoration process to recreate those physical pieces in their original form. We want to be able to take multiple pieces that are identical with different areas of damage on them. And we can take scans of part one, two, three, and combine them together. And through all of the data from all three of those, we'll have 100% good data. If we can't find an area undamaged on every single piece, or maybe we only have one original piece, that's kind of where the art meets the science. And that's where we have to kind of start playing with the file a little bit more artistically, kind of play with it almost like digital clay to get that restoration done in the most accurate way that we can. So having CATI on board, it allowed us to capture that existing condition information and then fabricate those elements that are missing. Um, they've been a great partner to work with. Um, they come to us with uh, a great tool that's very efficient and quick to allow us to collect that information. And um, without them, I think we would have been using traditional methods, much more inefficient, much less accurate. So having them on board has been great. Through CATI's work, we're able to take that existing condition information and we're able to replicate those missing decorative elements on the windows and basically uh, restore the original architect's intent. At CATI, our customers get really, really fast, accurate turnaround times in terms of quality control. And for reverse engineering, it not only speeds up their process, but it allows them to measure different features on more complex parts that aren't possible with any other methods. Preform scanners are, are very innovative technology, and we're using this to restore this area that, that used to really be an innovation center in the past and, and a great hub of technology. And now this next generation of technology has come along to kind of help that come back to life. CATI is a technology solution provider working with Ford Motor Company on a very unique project help customers solve problems, and this is a big problem we're helping Ford Motor Company solve. We're really using technology to leverage the past to know where we're going for the future.